Hey, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect an Xbox Series controller to the Nvidia Shield. Now, if you want to see the written instructions on how to get this done, you can find a link to my website in the video description. One important factor to keep in mind is also whether the controller will be compatible with the app you're going to use or game or whatever it is on your media streamer device. You know, did the app developer make it compatible with the Xbox Series controller? In addition to that, even if it does work with the app, you have to consider that will the button mapping be correct? So just uh, something to be very cautious and mindful about. So with that said, let's continue on with how to get this set up. So first what I'm gonna do is get the controller into pairing mode, which is super easy. You're gonna press and hold the Xbox button on the controller to power it on. And when you power on the controller, if your console turns on like it does for me, that's okay, just walk over to your console and press and hold the Xbox button for a few seconds. The power light will kind of fade a couple times and eventually the console will turn off completely. Then when it continue on with the controller itself, you wanna press and hold the sync button on the top of the controller for a few seconds until the Xbox logo button on the controller flashes. When it's flashing, that's when you know it's in pairing mode. Okay, so jumping over to Nvidia Shield, uh, what I'm gonna do is navigate to the very top right corner, which is a kind of the uh, cog icon for the system settings menu. Then go down to remotes and accessories. And then you'll see there's a few options. One is it add an accessory. Uh, one is add Bluetooth accessories a little bit further down, which is this one here. This is only for experiencing issues, but we'll stick with the regular ad accessory. It still has a Bluetooth icon. This is the one you're gonna to wanna to stick with. Eventually, it's gonna pop up and say Xbox wireless controller. Obviously, you wanna go ahead and select that. And that's it, I got it paired. So uh, in my experience, it did fail the first time. All I have to do is retry, and the second time it works just fine. And what I'm actually using right now is the joystick on the Xbox controller to navigate the menu. I'm pressing B to go back. Um, a will obviously allow you to select the option that you want to open up. So here I'm pressing A to open up the settings menu and that's pretty much it. It's now paired and fully functional. And that's pretty much a wrap. It's easy, right? Now if you want to get your controller paired back to your console, it's even easier than anything else. All you need to do is make sure that the console is turned on and your controller is turned on and double tap the sync button on the top of the controller and automatically pair back to your console and that's it. Super cool, right? So that's wrap. So if you hope you found this video useful, well. if you did, be sure to check my social links and website link in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.